Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, Threadripper has a release date. AMD's next gen APU beats Nvidia's newest discrete GPU. Intel's Arc GPUs are going MCM, and this is 350 times faster than Nvidia's RTX 3080. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, we finally have a release date for AMD's next-gen Threadripper CPUs. In a news story from Video Cards, they received information on the upcoming chips from a user who's gotten quite a bit of leaks right in the past. Either way, according to him, AMD should announce the processors at CES, and they're set to launch on March 8, 2022. What's odd is that these are only Threadripper Pro. According to Video Cards, AMD may not be planning non Pro variants. All the board partners they spoke with stated that Zen 3 based Threadripper simply took too long. That could mean we'll get Zen 3 Plus based parts, but given we may not get non pro variants, Threadripper isn't looking all that great. The upcoming parts were apparently set to be announced alongside Ryzen 5000, but that simply didn't happen. Regardless, there's five Pro models, ranging from 12 to 64 cores. The 5945WX, 5955WX, 5965WX, 5975WX, and the 5995WX. All models are rated with a TDP of 280 watts. At the end of the day, AMD could simply be waiting for Intel to release their next-gen enthusiast lineup. Time, as always, will tell. But first, while GP prices are still absurdly high, there's one thing you'll never have to overpay for again, and that's your VPN. Because today I have a huge deal from this video's sponsor, Atlas VPN. The fully fledged VPN with not only great prices, but everything you need to protect your data and more. I'm talking support for all of your devices, over 500 plus servers across the world, a no log policy, and even the ability to unlock geo restricted content, like movies and shows that you normally couldn't see in certain countries from Netflix, Hulu, and other popular streaming apps. They even have a free data breach monitoring tool to see whether your personal details have ever been leaked. And today, they've partnered with me to bring you an amazing deal for Christmas. Along with 86% off the price for three years, you'll also get three free months. So don't wait and pick up this great deal by visiting the link in the description below. Next up for today, I recently went over the announcement of a few new GPUs from NVIDIA. That is, the RTX 2050, MX570, and MX550. Well, we already have benchmarks for the upcoming GPUs. As you can see, a user from Zaihu shared a couple time spy scores of the chips. And there's an interesting part that makes one basically dead on arrival. First, we have the RTX 2050, which is about as bad as you might expect. It got a graphics score of 3,369, and when we compare that to the Notebook 3050, the 2050 gets beat by over 1,500 points. Next is the MX570, which apparently gets a very similar score. What's more interesting is the MX550, which got a graphics score of 2510. The reason that matters is because we recently saw a time spy score of AMD's upcoming Rembrandt APUs, and that was 2700, which means AMD's next-gen integrated GPU is set to beat one of Nvidia's newest discrete GPUs. And given the score is right, that would obviously make the MX550 completely redundant, at least in the APUs that can score 2700. At the end of the day, this announcement from NVIDIA seems like a huge misstep. I mean, the 2050 isn't even based on Turing, so it's not like it would help them make more by using an older process. Basically, what was NVIDIA thinking? Next up for today, we have an interesting claim from Moore's Law is Dead. According to him, Intel is planning to go all out with their Battlemage GPUs. For those who don't know, Battlemage is Intel's second gen ARC GPUs. And I hear you, why am I talking about Battlemage when Alchemist isn't even out yet? Well, from this leak, it sounds like Battlemage is set to be when Intel goes all in on discrete GPUs. From all the leaks so far, their first gen Alchemist is set to more compete with AMD and Nvidia's mid range cards so not actually beat their highest in. And that's obviously understandable given this is ultimately Intel's first generation. But according to this, Battlemage is planning to compete with AMD and Nvidia's next-gen high-end, meaning RDNA 3 and Lovelace. Not only that, but more 
Moore's Law is Dead claims that it's almost certainly going to be multi-GPU, meaning Intel could be planning to release MCM GPUs with Battle Mage. So we're talking more than one GPU combined into one package that's essentially looked at as one GPU. Let's just say that's big. And lastly for today, the company Light Elegance claims that their new processor is a whopping 350 times faster than NVIDIA's RTX 3080. It's called Pace, and it's a photonic-based computer that uses light for computation instead of electrons. This offers a couple of huge benefits. For one, it takes significantly less power, and therefore produces far less heat than a typical transistor-based processor. And second, because the data is literally traveling at the speed of light, latency is significantly reduced, which means certain workloads that benefit from low latency will greatly benefit from this. Now, there are a few companies working on photonic-based computers, but Light Elegance was the first to actually make and demonstrate an integrated optical computer back in 2019, so they're definitely a company that knows what they're doing. With that said, their newest processor is over a million times faster than the chip they first showed off and it's a small form factor processor in a single chassis, meaning it's a big step forward. Unfortunately, there are a couple caveats to pace. For one, light-based computing is only faster in specific matrix acceleration workloads, meaning things like AI. So it'll likely never be, say, a gaming processor. Regardless, it's a huge step forward in computing at a time that making faster processors is getting more and more expensive. The second issue is that this is just a prototype. Their goal is to raise enough capital to start mass production by 2023. Still, that's not too far off, and it could completely change computers forever. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for the future of processors or are you just hoping to pick up an Intel Battle Mage GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.